Meet Stable Chat. This is a new chat interface from Stability AI. If you were to try out their latest model called Stable Beluga, then you don't have to use um, GPU or you don't have to use a sophisticated environment to use the model. Rather, you can go to Stable Chat and then try it out. I don't know the intention of why they are doing this at this point, if they're trying to make a chat GPT alternative, but I think it is really good opportunity for us to try out an open source model and also make comparisons how ChatGPT or Google Bot or these kind of sophisticated models outsmart this open source models. All you have to do is create a free account using your Gmail account and then you can go ahead and then chat. One thing for you to keep in your mind is that you should not enter any confidential information because the moment you create your account for, for the first, they're going to give you a splash screen and they're going to say that whatever you're typing here, whatever you're chatting here might be used for research purposes and even might be made public. So make sure that you don't enter any confidential information. I think this is quite valid for any interface, like even if you're with ChatGPT, even if you're with Google Bot, always make sure that this information can always come public. So do not enter any confidential information, except that it's a very simple interface. You can like change the theme, light mode, dark mode, you can go to the settings. Right now, only one model stable Beluga is present, but you can also probably in the future, you might be able to change the model. I find this model quite interesting, to be honest. And I don't know, is it because of the interface or is it just because of the model in itself? I've been using Google Bard and ChatGPT a lot. Like even I've got the ChatGPT Plus subscription. So I always am looking for certain alternatives that my subscribers can use without paying money. And in this case, Stability Chat, um, don't forget that Hugging Face also has their own Hugging Face chat in itself where you don't have to pay money. But Stability Chat is another research preview where uh, Stability AI seems to be trying something. All you have to do is go ahead and then see, okay, I want to compose an email to take off on Monday. Make sure the email is professional and just send it. Um, the latency is quite a bit there, but again, this is streaming text, unlike Google Bard, which gives you the complete output at the same time, which a lot of people seem to like it. This is uh, very similar to like uh, OpenAI ChatGPT, where the text is streaming text. It's quite fast, to be honest. Like um, initially there is a latency, but since that you could see the speed of the text coming out. Like, let me ask one more question. Um, in this case, like I'll ask a very simple question. Okay, write a simple, small poem for hitting 50k subs on YouTube. So I just asked like write a simple poem for hitting 50k subs on YouTube. And you can see the, the, the speed in which this is streaming. It's quite amazing. I'm not going to network tools and trying to find the latency in terms of absolute numbers, but from my experience of using chat GPT, this actually seems to be faster. They've also not mentioned what is the size of the model that they've um, loaded. It just simply says stable Beluga. We don't know the size of the model that has been loaded, but overall this seems like an interesting, interesting option. It doesn't have a lot of option, unlike stable, unlike um, Hugging Face Chat or uh, Google Bard or Chat GPT. You cannot share this. You just have to copy paste it. Like you can copy this here. You can also ask it to write code, but you cannot share the chat in itself. It's a very, very new, naive chat interface. Stable Diffusion has released a post. Um, it seems like they're going to use this as part of DEF CON where the, the hackers would try out this model in itself. But other than this, it doesn't seem what is the intention of having this kind of a web interface that uh, people might use. Maybe that they're planning to give an enterprise offering, but the point that they're saying, we ask that you avoid using the site for real world applications or commercial uses saying that this is only for research purposes. So th that's a very strange clause, but overall seems like this is another web interface along with ChatGPT, along with Google Bard, along with Hugging Face and a lot of other interfaces are there. But if you want to try out Stable Beluga, this is probably your easiest place. Go to research.stability.ai slash chat and start chatting with that. If you would like me to make a comparison, I would love to. I think at this point, like I've been regularly using Google Bard and ChatGPT. Probably we can do like a web interface comparison between all the tools. I think there is no doubt that ChatGPT uh, with GPT-4 would win, but um, you know, it's always good to see the strengths and weaknesses of these models. Hope this video was helpful to you in learning about Stable Chat, which is a new chat interface or web interface from Stability AI, the company that has made Stable Beluga. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in another video. Happy prompting.